everyone and a welcome once again to my youtube channel um to be sincere i'm really really very happy um making this video because i'm so like happy with the way my subscribers are turning up i just want to use this medium to say a big thanks to you all and those that are yet to subscribe please kindly do so all right um i remain Udimu Olumide Olalikon, the ceo and founder of microsoft um, technologies all right in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to um how to design a wireframe for your website before you actually um, um code it you know we call it um ui um ui design user interface on the norms you know in some companies um you know the there is a position for uh, for a ui ux designer and also we also have front-end designer we also have um um back end and we have full stack so as a matter of fact even if you are a front-end designer or whatever you should also um be able to create a user interface front-end designer or whatever you should also um be able to create a user interface prior to coding your website so that's what we want to be talking about and i'm going to show you a very very easy way of doing this thing like i'm going to show you an easy way of doing it without you knowing those sophisticated um software like um adobe xd but if you know this now you'll be able to use adobe xd very well it's a simple tool and i'm going to tell you it's a web app and i'm going to be telling you right away just stay tuned please don't forget um your subscription keeps us going if you are yet to subscribe um please subscribe by clicking on the um, subscribe um, button and if you don't want to miss our video if you want to be getting update on our next video each time we post kindly click on the um the bell icon so i can get notifications and um let me just sell this now i am going to fulfill whatever i promise on this channel you know i said in this channel you are going to be learning graphics learning how to code learning how to do a lot of stuff cinema 4d how to do 3d model design how to use wordpress how to how to code in um php mysql and a lot of stuff microsoft assets photoshop etc you are going to learn a lot so please just um click on the subscribe button and that's the that's the only favor i'm requesting from you all right so now what is this hack i'm going to be showing you a hack now like um on how to create a user interface you know without stressing yourself and that's the first thing you need to do before you actually code your website all right so let me go introduce you to this tool um if you have a browser just go to whimsica.com w h i m s i c a l dot com w h i m s i c a l dot com all right so that's the two you know i've done a couple of stores on it and you know it's very easy for me it's very handy for me you know and so before i even you know sometimes you want to design a project i have to crack my brain i have to like you know why coding also thinking about design at the same time but sometimes your your, your clients they want to see the i mean the interface before you you know it's 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 not gonna be nice after coding a project and uh, a client say you know i don't want this button to be here i want this color to be here. It's somehow unprofessional so even if you are a full stack developer even a wordpress developer you need to learn this so this is where you are going to decide the color you are going to give your website decide i mean decide the layout decide how the content is going to be arranged everything and um this is a freestyle work and whatever so i'm going to start a new project now so you can get what i'm talking about clearly all right all right all right let's get started so i'm going to come to this place and um I'm going to start a new project. Yeah, create new. Let me just go back so that you can understand what I'm talking about. You see, this is I've already logged in. If you are yet to log in, just go to that Wimsica and then um, you know you create an account with them and you log in. So upon login, you can create as many projects as you want. All right. So just create, uh, click on get started or whatever, and uh, you see all this now. So now there are so many things that you can create with um, Wimsica. You can create docs, flowcharts like all this organ organogram or whatever. 
but in this um, video we are going to be talking about wireframe and that's what I'm going to be doing right now so let's get started so you're going to click on that wireframe then you give the project a title let us just see let's give it a simple simple website mind you we are going to be doing a very simple stuff here then um the next video after this we are going to be talking about the more complex design but in this video i'm just going to be introducing you to various tools um that you can use on uh, in whimsica and then after this video that's why i said it's very important for you to subscribe so that you won't miss my next video we are going to be doing the design of a very popular website all right so the name of this my site is called simple um, website and of course you know the first thing you need to do um, before you um, uh, will actually start your stuff is what is to you know try to gather ideas on the kind of sites you want the kind of layout you want you know and I'm going to be starting with the header you know a site comprises so many sections we have the header you know we, after the header we have the like um, the banner sections and then we also have the content sections we have the um the um, um the, the body the footer you know all those things now so this is interface we are talking about the interface now so and um the first thing we need to do is to create our work our work space and i'm going to be doing one thing i'm going to be um um creating the frame that's the first thing so once you are here once you create your project and you name your project you know the next thing to do is what come to this place um this this uh what's it called this icon that you have here then you go to this third one which is add a frame or add frame you know but when you click on it it's going to give you so many options like but what i'm doing now i'm going to add plane that's what i want to do now so when you add the plane you can see that the arrow is already giving you a kind of white um plane background so you just place it there just place it there sorry i have a call so just place it there so that's the first thing you know you need to create you need to create a work environment for yourself like a kind of um a page that you want to design this is a page now so this is a frame now and just leave it like that you can extend it you can extend it you can you know do it the way you want but let's just leave it like this so after creating your frame uh you know design we are, i told you we are going to be working on a very simple project now the first thing we need to do now is to um decide design the header so on the header now i'm going to create a rectangular shape so let's just go to this um this same um, um icons here the second um button here you click on it where you have add element then um you click on it after clicking on it you select a rectangle shape can you see now that's the first shape there then you place it here and um, you place it here then you extend it so that it's going to rhyme with um the, the the frame that you created initially then you just you know you are a designer and whatever you do here is also how you are going to code your uh, project so and um you know if um we can if i can get more subscribers and um, uh, then my next video is going to be on a very much advanced project than this and after this we are going to be going into the coding fully for beginners those of you that have not code before it's going to be a beginner class whatever we design here we're also going to code it out and you can even run it as a normal website and i'm going to be giving my subscribers the source code and everything so you can also be a website owner and again after that then we go into back-end development all right that's very cool so um you know this is the first part of the website the header and um you know i'm having a white play background then um i can decide to like give my header a color so let's give it a um uh, let's give it um, a color blue you can decide to you know change color if you want to change any color just cl click on this icon yeah that looks like a um, jet or what, what do i call it so this jet icon or oh, i'm sorry this um this dot icon this menu icon that is here the last the very last one here at the top um top right your stamp so top right corner you you click on that three dot icon once you click on that icon you see the first um, button there edit team so you click on it then you just pick on any you click on any team that you want here you can change anything you can name it anyone you like click on this let's click on the, this first one here and you can change it to any color you like if i want to keep it as black i can do that i can keep it as black let's keep it as black or something like this then you can as well you can you know you can rename it if you like you know, this is color blue and this is not color blue now so i can name it black that's the first thing we need to decide on the colors we want to use 
on our project so i'm going to be using black and um and i also like color blue so let's just click on the next one and um, you know let's select the kind of befitting color or whatever so this is in the let's just i don't even know the color but let's just name it blue so for the sake of this um uh, class so that's it right so uh that's how to what to add color don't forget it's very simple by the time you come to this place now you see your colors now the first thing you need to do if you want to add color let me just quickly recapitulate you click on the um the the the, the menu icon at the top right corner once you click on it you click on edit team once you click on edit team you click on any color um, box you want like this blue now and i want to change it to black you just come in like the way you select your color in photoshop you just click on it then you you click on this place and you name it you can give it any name you like you can give it my my site team or whatever be a little ck black then that's all after doing that then um, again um you i i said we have to conclude on the colors we want to use you can still come back to do it later i'll click on the next box again i want to change this guy to something like blue yeah i, I love this color you know i already have a dark color so i think i need a brighter color you understand so i'm not going to go for deep blue this time around i'm going to go for a very bright blue so that it's going to come out all right so i think this is fine don't forget this is not indigo i'm going to name it blue so that at least we can be in line with what we are doing then you click outside the box then uh let's just go with these two colors for now i'm i'm still going to need more colors but for now let's go with these blue colors after doing this you want you click on what on save yes i've successfully selected my what my color now let's go back to this header let me quickly recap the first thing we did is um um we we we, we actually created a frame and by clicking on this um to the um, icon that we have here add frame then we create this very big white frame and then after that the next thing is what we want to create our header our site header the header is going to house the menu the navs and the logo and whatever the brand name depending on what you like like you can decide to have several uh what's it called um, um you can decide to have several headers you can have top header and whatever it depends on you you are a designer this time around you are not even coding this time around you are what you are a designer and this is the first thing this is a wireframe this is the first thing you need to do before you code your project all right now if this thing is too big you can as well reduce it i'm just playing with this thing right so let's change it to one of our team color um so once you click on it if i want to edit this i'm just going to click on it i'm going to left click on it then you go to this place you can see by the time you over on this um deep um kind of blue stuffs you see the options to edit it like this one if i want to fill it if i want to uh, make it a, to have an outline i don't want that if i want to make it trans um, to have a dash if i want to make it to, to, tra to be transparent this does it but this time around i'm not doing any of this i want to change the color now i want to change it to what to color black you understand don't mind that's how they translate their stuff probably you, you can get the color code or whatever so this is right let's just leave it like this i love this and i love this yes or probably we can also change it to or to, to to color blue you understand let's leave it as color blue which is very nice and we can you know just play with it you can change it to any color you want but i think this is fine for for the sake of this tutorial now on our header now we need some stuff on the header right we need to add what a logo here and we also need to add what the the, the menu right where you have your own page whatever 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 so that's the first thing so in order to do that now you come to these um, add elements you know you can decide to add if you have a logo you can come here to add to upload image it is very simple but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just click on add elements here and then um, you you scroll you can search but because you are not used to it now and then um, let's just if they are not much let's just quickly go to this um, guy that we have we have this guy here um uh, uh, where is it yeah image g you understand you can add your image there but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to do something cool just come down like this you know just make sure it's aligned with this guy you understand that is indicating that yes we are going to have a logo here but if you don't want that you can as well add image and maybe probably we can do that um before the end of this tutorial now after doing this now this is our logo this is going to serve as our logo right or oh, probably 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 let me see can i do something i don't really have a logo on my system so don't let me disturb myself but this is going to be there's going to be a logo here right and the next thing we need to do here is to um add our words our menu icon i mean i'm sorry our menus right our menus our link all right so if you want to do that now it is very simple you know you are still going to go to that um um 
add elements that's why you have your elements you know then you go to tabs can you see you have radio buttons on this on this particular element you have rectangle solid button online button you have links you have so many things you understand you have divider you have annotations you have avatar you have a um, cycle whatever whatever but what i'm using now is um, i'm using i'm going to go with the word the the horizontal tab because we are talking about horizontal so we are going to go with the horizontal tab and you're just going to place it anywhere you like if you like you want you, you might want your tab to be here or you want it to be at the center here it all depends on you but let me just keep it here right i think it's better this way yeah so i'm going to name this first tab you see just okay let's do something now continue clicking on the plus icon i don't know how many tabs you want let's just keep it um, as simple as this mm, yeah yeah don't worry let's just keep it as simple as this and i think this is okay for now i mean for the sake of this tutorial now so now you click on that first um tab you double click on it then let's name it home you understand then the, um, the second one click on it again because it's going to hide by default if you don't type anything it's going to hide so now after home let's write about you know that, that's what those, those are one of those things um a website should have right about us and that thing um can you just suggest a page for me you uh, know i wish you can do that <laughs> wow that's cool right after about us let's see let's see what can we have again yeah let's see, talk about services yeah services let's talk about services g you understand you can add your image there but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to do something cool just come down like this you know just make sure it's aligned with this guy you understand that is indicating that yes we are going to have a logo here but if you don't want that you can as well add image and maybe probably we can do that um before the end of this tutorial now after doing this now this is our logo this is going to serve as our logo right or oh, probably 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 let me see can i do something i don't really have a logo on my system so don't let me disturb myself but this is going to be there's going to be a logo here right and the next thing we need to do here is to um add our what our menu icon i mean i'm sorry our menus right our menus our link all right so if you want to do that now it is very simple you know you are still going to go to that um um add element that's why you have your element you know then you go to tabs can you see you have radio buttons on this on this particular element you have rectangle solid button online button you have links you have so many things you understand you have divider you have annotations you have avatar you have um cycle whatever whatever but what i'm using now is um, i'm using i'm going to go with the word the the horizontal tab because we are talking about horizontal so we are going to go with the horizontal tab and you're just going to place it anywhere you like if you like you want, you, you might want your tab to be here or you want it to be at the center here it all depends on you but let me just keep it here right i think it's better this way yeah so i'm going to name this first tab you see just okay let's do something now continue clicking on the plus icon i don't know how many tabs you want let's just keep it um, as simple as this mm, yeah yeah don't worry let's just keep it as simple as this and i think this is okay for now I mean for the sake of this tutorial now so now you click on that first um tab you double click on it then let's name it home you understand then the, um, the second one click on it again because it's going to hide by default if you don't type anything it's going to hide so now after home let's write about you know that's, that's what those, those are one of those things um a website should have right about us and that thing um can you just suggest a page for me you know i wish you can do that <laughs> wow that's cool right after about us let's see let's see what can we have again yeah let's see, talk about services yeah services let's talk about sub after services you click on it again the, um the next one let's edit this one again what should we call this one uh what should we call this guy what should we call this guy what should we call this guy um bam, bam, bam. let's call it mm, mm, mm. let's call it gallery and um we're gonna have a contact page for sure yeah i think contact us or whatever anyhow this is just a wireframe mind you all right let's just keep it at this you know you notice something now that normally if you are creating a website there's one to we call active link and uh you know when when you are 
clicking on the active link so it should have a kind of brighter color than the normal links you understand and that's what it's doing now you can even see that it's even underlining the active link so that shows that yes that leaf that link is what is active all right uh, i think we are cool with our um site um menu but still we can still you know change the colors you know you can decide on whatever you want you know when i click on it now i can decide to change the color to whatever i want but i think it's cool like this and i can see it like that all right that's the header now this is your logo and um this is your words this is your site um links like the menu icons i mean the menu links rather and that's very cool so um the next thing we need to do um is to create the um the the, the, the site banner you know while coding your project you might decide to make it um, a slide or whatever but uh, you can as well do that here do do forget this is not a live website it's just a wireframe um to do that let's quickly do something um i'm going to click on this um i think one two three four five six yeah the sixth icon here which is upload image and that's where we are going to be uploading the um the banner of this site oh let's 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 do that now when you click on upload image then you can select any image you like oh let me go give you one hint yeah if you want to get any premium um images or whatever just quickly go to this site on splash.com s p l a s h that is where i get um free images for my project on splash you can just uh, let's search for um let's search for laptop or whatever you know just search anything you have high resolution image a clean one you start can you see now and um, i think and we should be able to go for a very nice one let's let's go for this let's go for this and um we can use it yeah we can use it right so let us just wait for it to be fully downloaded what should we call this guy um bam, bam, bam. let's call it mm, mm, mm. let's call it gallery and um we're gonna have a contact page for sure yeah i think contact us or whatever anyhow this is just a wireframe mind you all right let's just keep it at this you know you notice something now that normally if you are creating a website there's one to we call active link and uh you know when when you are clicking on the active link so it should have a kind of brighter color than the normal links you understand and that's what it's doing now you can even see that it's even underlining the active link so that shows that yes that leaf that link is what is active all right uh, i think we are cool with our um site um menu but still we can still you know change the colors you know you can decide on whatever you want you know when i click on it now i can decide to change the color to whatever i want but i think it's cool like this and i can see it like that all right that's the header now this is your logo and um this is your words this is your site um links like the menu icons i mean the menu links rather and that's very cool so um the next thing we need to do um is to create the um the the, the, the site banner you know while coding your project you might decide to make it um, a slide or whatever but uh, you can as well do that here do do forget this is not a live website it's just a wireframe um to do that let's quickly do something um i'm going to click on this um i think one two three four five six yeah the sixth icon here which is upload image and that's where we are going to be uploading the um the banner of this site oh let's 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 do that now when you click on upload image then you can select any image you like oh let me go give you one hint yeah if you want to get any premium um images or whatever just quickly go to this site on splash.com s p l a s h that is where i get um free images for my project on splash you can just uh, let's search for um let's search for laptop or whatever you know just search anything you have high resolution image a clean one you understand can you see now and um, i think and uh, we should be able to go for a very nice one let's let's go for this let's go for this and um we can use it yeah we can use it right so let us just wait for it to be fully downloaded
all right so let me quickly name this image so i'll be able to recognize it i'm um, okay i don't even need that but it's fine it's already here so now after downloading our image don't forget this site on splash u n s p l a s h that is where you get premium high quality high resolution images for your project that's what i use actually there are a lot of them but this one is free you know sometimes you can just attribute the um the designer wherever you can copy the link and place it on your site or wherever okay right so let's just get out of here and go back to our um whim seeker right we are designing a wireframe don't forget now the next thing i'm going to do now is what click on this um upload image icon that's the one two three four one two three four five the sixth icons right so you just click on it now then you bring in your image um it's under downloads i think just um you know you know where you have your downloads right on now uh, on the normal day now the image is going to come in um very big can you see it now hmm. very big but this is what we are going to do let me go tell you something if you want to use this um, um this site if you want to actually move your project you want to navigate you hold the um space bar by the time you hold the space bar you'll be able to you know drag and then you now drag your mouse your style you can you can drag whatever you want to drag or whatever guys this image is very big now but as i'm holding my mouse you can see so i'm able to drag the image i want to quickly get to the um the edge of the word image so that i'll be able to resize it or whatever that's what i'm trying to do you can see now this is the edge of the image can you see now very big then i'll you see i'll put my mouse on the edge here the vertices then i'll drag it i'll try to i'm trying to rescale it whatever 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 so at least so that it can fit my project then don't forget we can move back like this you understand if you want to move just click on the um, space bar that is how to move all right i'm trying to rescale this image so that it's going to fit in don't forget hold your mouse to what to to move back to where you are before that's where we are we are the center so this image is going to come out very big but in norms you can if you want to do it very well you can just use photoshop to resize your image so that it's not going to be too big you know this is assuming that yes we are using it for a website and even if sometimes you apply it to your website you still need to resize it or maybe probably design i mean decide or define the um the css um image size um property or you can write an external css to to divide the size all right so let's just keep it like this and um, i'm gonna resize again i'm gonna resize again yeah 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 i'm gonna resize i'm gonna resize that's just it you still keep going 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 it's getting smaller don't don't worry it's getting smaller If you want to move, just click outside the image so that it means you are moving the whole of this stuff. You understand? So I just come here now. I'm still gonna resize. You see, I've even dragged it out of this thing, but don't worry. You can see it's already inside my project now, right? But still, now I still have to resize. You understand? So that it can. I want it to suit my project. Now, if you want to move this image now, just press the space again, hold the space key, and then um, you know, yeah, that's it. If you want to move all this image, you don't need to hold the space key, just click on the image alone, and you see now you move, you move. But you see now that we, it, we don't really have our image the way we want, it's still, it's still very big. You still have to resize, you drag it, you drag it, you scale it to whatever you want. You still have to rescale. Can you see? To whatever you want you still have to risk it yeah, let's let's try the other hand of this guy so you can also risk it from here too can you see now you can also risk it from here too can you see now so that's how you keep doing it you keep doing it so we can risk it from here no you just keep you just have to keep um rescaling it so that it's going to suit um the correct size that you want so i just have to keep rescaling can you see now it's now very small now fine now this one i'm going to do i'm going to place it here 
then I can now decide whatever I want to do with it. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's I, I like it like this, right? It's cool. Now you notice something now. Uh, after rescaling this image now, you know, there's supposed to be a kind of maybe an indication here whereby you can drag the image so that I can expand it so that it's going to fit the width. But no. But this is what we are going to do now. Hmm? Um sorry, this is what we are going to do now. And let me tell you something. Whenever you make a mistake, look at this button here. We have the undo, we have the um, the redo button we also have you can also use the control key it's very simple now after this one, just click on the after you resize the image what, what you need to do is what to click on this crop image icon that is here you know I told you that whenever you are working on something when you click on that it's going to bring the um, edit options right so you click on this um, crop image icon that is here that's what we want to do next now you know when you click on that crop image now it will enable us to, uh, to now stretch this image um, the way we want or the way we like your stand so first off, I'm here. I can move this image. Sorry. Let me just go back. Yeah, sorry, let me let me move this guy here. And let me expand it a little bit. Yeah, let's expand it. After doing this now, I think we can now crop. Let's go this way. Then you click on crop. We want it to like come to a eh, sorry yeah it's actually working you can you can drag it here don't worry when you show this sign just drag you can drag it here and i think i'm having it here i want it to come to this uh, particular place let's let's raise it up a bit i don't want it to be too big so let's raise it up a bit let's see this one you click on the mark button if it's okay by you you come to this place i, I shift it here now I, but I still want this image to come to this place, right? So just expand, expand, expand. Can you see now? Yeah, it's already touching both sides now. But I, yes, if you now want to adjust the size, yes, you can now use the crop. Let's use the crop now. You you click on that image and you click on this crop. So you come down here. You can you know using the crop, I can try to you know crop this guy here. I I drag it up a bit so that's going to be smaller. Let's see if it's going to work well let's see fine i think this is nice this is nice but i i still want it to be smaller fine on the norms you know on your website you can decide the size but i use 450 for my banners you can do something better or something more than that i don't know but this is just a sample this is just for design sake at least for your user for your client to be able to yes know what you are trying to build for um them you understand and also for you to be able to decide um the, the the project you are working on before you start coding and this if you want to code now to just make everything easy for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then um, after this video i'm going to be working on a more professional website and we are going to be coding out this project from scratch so and that's why it's necessary for you to subscribe so that you won't mix the video and i i'm promising you if you have never coded before it's an opportunity for you and i'm going to be teaching you everything from scratch but it's a greater process let's get this part first all right if you still want to reduce this you can still Okay, bro. Okay, you can still, yeah, you can still, um, you can still resize it. You understand? Let's just do something like this. Yeah, let's drag it up a bit. I'm still cropping, right? You can, you can drag it up a bit now. But I just want it to be smaller so that at least, just to get the idea, or whatever. Mm, okay, I think it's cool like this. All right, let me do something now. You notice that, um, if you click out outside this image. There's a kind of white frame here, like, um, you know, I don't really like it, like a white frame. But if you want to do that, if you want to solve that problem, just click on this thing and then click on the, the image and then you right click. Don't forget, click on that image and you right click. When you right click, um, you got, you're going to have several options there. Then you click on send to back. So by the time you send it to back, it will be at the back of this, your header, this blue header. So by the time you drag it up, now you can see that white stuff is not showing again you see when i drag it down it's not showing again now it's hiding under the word header but that's cool all right after having a banner for your website and the next thing you need to do is what is to have a kind of a text or maybe whatever like a title whatever whatever but still let me see if i can still um you know reduce the size of this image i can still crop it here by you know dragging it up here can you see my mouse by dragging it up let's just drag it up a bit so that at least it's gonna be fine yeah, I think it's cool like this, right? So now the the next thing is to, is we need to do is now to add a text 
If you want to add the text, just go to the one, two, three, four. The fifth icon here, you have the add text there. You can see the when you over on it, you can see the functions. So I'm gonna click on this guy now, and I'll bring it here. So what 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 do we want to write? Uh, okay, I'll just write Lecrosoft. That's the name of my brand. Don't forget, you can also check my um, website. S O F T. Lecrosoft is the best. Tech company in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm just joking, actually. But we are the best, actually. We are the best. You understand? This is just for demo sake. But we are the best. Um, you can you can check our website out. You know, if you have a pocket to subscribe to my channel. And then um, after this video, I'm going to be working on a more professional website. And we are going to be coding out this project from scratch. So and that's why it is necessary for you to subscribe so that you won't mix the video. And I, I'm promising you, if you have never could before, it's an opportunity for you. And I'm going to be teaching you everything from scratch. But it's a greater process. Let's get this part first. All right. If you still want to reduce this, you can still. Okay, bro. Okay. You can still. Yeah. You can still. Um, you can still resize it. You understand? Let's just do something like this. Yeah. Let's drag it up a bit. I'm still cropping, right? You can. You can drag it up a bit now. But I just want it to be smaller so that at least just to get the idea or whatever mm, okay i think it's cool like this all right let me go do something now you notice that um if you click out outside this image there's a kind of white frame here like um you know i don't really like it like a white frame but if you want to do that if you want to solve that problem just click on this thing and then click on the, the image and then you right click don't forget click on that image and you right click when you right click um you got you're gonna have several options there then you click on send to back so by the time you send it to back it will be at the back of this your header this blue header so by the time you drag it up now you can see that white stuff is not showing again you see when i drag it down it's not showing again now it's hiding under the word header but that's cool all right after having a banner for your website and the next thing you need to do is what is to have a kind of a text or maybe whatever like a title whatever whatever but still let me see if i can still um, you know reduce the size of this image I can see crop it here by you know dragging it up here can you see my mouse by dragging it up let's just drag it up a bit so that at least it's gonna be fine yeah I think it's cool like this right so now the for the next thing is, to, is we need to do is now to add a text if you want to add a text just go to the one two three four the fifth icon here you have the add text there you can see the when you over on it you can see the functions so I'm gonna click on this guy now and I'll bring it here so what 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 do we want to write? Uh, okay, I'll just write Lecrosoft. That's the name of my brand. Don't forget, you can also check my um, website. S O F T. Lecrosoft is the best tech company in Africa. Yeah, 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 that's it. I'm just joking, actually. But we are the best, actually. We are the best. You understand? This is just for demo sake, but we are the best. Um, you can you can check our website out, you know, if you have a project for us. Let me quickly do that. www.lecrosoft.com. That's our website, and, you know, you can, you know, learn more about us. So while we wait for our website to load, let's quickly go back to this project. So, all right. This text now is not, you know, is not visible enough, and we, we can actually format it the way we want. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to click on this text, then I'm going to click on the bold, just like the way you use your um, what's it called, your your word, MS Word. Yes, you can bold the text. You see now, when I click on bold now, it's bold, it's it's, it's bolder than the way it was before. You can expand it, you know, if you feel that yes, this is not the center, you can do it the way you like, you know. Aside this, um, this text is still not coming out. You can make it extra large if you want. It's too big. You can make it large. Let's use that large. You understand? I think it's good like this. Or let's use extra large. If I use extra large now, you can now drag this guy so that they will be on the same line, which is very cool. Yeah. You know, we are doing UI UX. It's just like you are doing a graphic design project. So you should be able to design on the, um, decide the color that is going to come out where. I think we should use color. If you want to change the color, don't forget of this. After clicking on the text, you click on the text here. Then you click on this. You see this round stuff here, that's where you can change the color. Then let's put it at the center, please. So that it's gonna be at the center. Yes, I think it's fine like this. Then you click on the color 
I'm going to use color white. I think color white should come out. It's not coming out. Wow. Let's let's drag this guy here. So that it's going to be at the center. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, no, no. You are dragging the image like that. Make sure you click on that stuff you want to drag. Then you drag. I think it's cool like this. Or let me just bring it up here. You know, you can decide to have a paragraph under it as well. It's left to you. You are a designer. So, um, what again do we... Can we change it to under color? Let's see... Uh, is this is this color nice oh i can ask you let's see oh let's see this guy mm -mm -mm. don't forget this is ui like you have to consider your color i'm seeing this kind of color here so that's what i'm using it on let's just leave it for now let's leave it for now uh another thing that you can also add is um let's add a button here you kind of learn more button you understand let's do that to do that now just go to this add element and you click on the um, solid button can you see it here solid button that you come down to this place you know just like the way you do on my website then let's let's just write learn more yeah that's it so i have the learn more button here now which is very cool sorry now it's very cool i think it's cool then you can change the color yeah, let's look for a very nice color. This is our team color. You understand? It's, it's in line with the um, over color of the uh, of the nav. You understand? So I think it's cool. I think it's cool like this. So the next thing is we need to do now is to just go to the next section, right? You want to go to the next section. It's very simple. You can see now we have successfully des I mean designed the header, the navs, and the banner of our site. So the next thing is to uh, is to um you know de de design the next section if you want to add another section to your site just like you're adding a new div when when you are doing your code you understand that's the, it's the same thing so let's quickly add a section here it's very simple as well come to this um add frame you understand yeah you still add under plain frame here you understand that one is under so it's you it can cover it you add under plain frame here yes so you know you can decide you know if you are the, the if you are what's it called if you are coding you can decide if something is going to be a container or it's going to have a padding left and right or it's going to just it's going to be container fluid whereby it's going to uh, it's going to expand through all the page you can decide if you want this thing because that's why we have the, the plain background face so if i shift this thing like this and i shift this one like this you understand what i'm trying to say now i can still have my background i give another color then i can give this one another color but um, i think for the sake of this design what should we do what should we do okay yeah let's keep let's keep this guy like this first let's keep, let's keep it let's keep um let's keep um a a, a margin outside you understand that's that's margin you understand i'm not going to keep a keep, keep, um keep a small box here then i'm going to give this box should we give it a color mm, let's see let's see if we can give it a color you want to just just click on it if you want to give it a color you click on it then you click on this icon here um let's let's give it our color blue Mm, yeah i don't know i'm just playing around with it i'm just playing okay and and then and, and, and what again do we need to do or oh, better still let's remove it i'm just playing i told you that i'm just if you want to do, just click on it and you delete you understand you you right click and you delete let's quickly do something on this you know we already have a uh, what's it called let's add another section let's add a plain a plain div here a plain frame sorry i'm used to div yeah so we can decide but it's not you know you can decide to make it uh half padding or whatever so i can decide to reduce it i even want to reduce it safe you understand feel like it will take more space let's just do something like this i think it's okay now what i want to have here is i want to have a um, kind of um let's just place a shape here in form of a rectangle so i can have something like this here you understand and um, you know you can expand it the way you want and inside this uh, okay fine even before yes this is very cool yeah so and um, it is a rectangle just like you have your your card your bootstrap card you understand yes let's even do something like that let's say we have a bootstrap card here and that's very cool right so okay i think i'm going to expand this frame can you see this frame let's expand it a bit so that it's going to look nice yeah, let's expand it a bit so that's going to look nice so this is a div now and let's let's bring this on that a bit i think it's cool like this and um inside this now we can have an icon but 
let's do something cool let's just try to uh let's try to give this one an, an, an outline is uh, is having an outline right which is very cool can you see now if you don't want an outline if you want it to be solid you can just leave it like it's not going to have but now i want to give it an outline which is very cool and uh, what again do we need to do to it um let's add icon you click on this guy and you have let's add a let's see computer let's see you are going to have computer icon here computer icon yeah can you see now i'm having a computer icon here and um you know that's just it let's undo this one this is not what i want to do if you want to add an icon let's just click uh, click on this um add icon button here that's the second to the last button here then you can just click on this then you come here so I in this one now you'll be able to decide where to place your icon your stand you can you know resize and do a lot of stuff then let's make it align is we going to show you if it, it has aligned and then um, let's quickly um, do something let us change this icon let us change the icon you can see the second button here now it's going to allow you to change the icon so you click on it now you use this computer icon i'm just going to write something here now i'm going to write um that's cool i think that's cool and i'm going to um give the text here i'm going to write um something here let's just write something here i just see web design you understand web design and that's it you can play around with it after this guy what again do we need we need a kind of um uh, a paragraph right it's still the same text but just make it smaller um i'm just going to write blah 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 no it's too big blah 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 oh i'm using the capital letter which is very wrong i want a paragraph so i'm going to use a small letter all true you understand it's just a blah 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 whatever blah 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 you see it's a very small text and you can still make it small you understand and let's put it at, let's put it to center please and if you want to make it extra small which is very cool that's what we're going to use now so you can now decide if you want it to you know touch the frame of the box or i think it should let's see what about if you have it like this is it going to make sense yeah but with a little bit um padding so let us see something which is very cool blah 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 you know i'm just trying something crazy out that's it right it's okay all right i think this is cool let's adjust it a bit which is very cool now you can decide to you know change the color of this your heading by you know giving it any color let's give it a color yellow since um, we have yellow on our background and this guy so because it has to make sense so what again do we need to do now uh, let's see if we can, if we can add a button here let's add a button here again so that it's going to make sense to add a button what are you going to do click on the second um uh, what's it called um second um, icon if it's not necessary to use a button you can use any other thing like this rectangle you can convert it to a button for example if i want something like a round button you understand i can just click on it here this is the rectangle i'll place it here now i'm going to convert it to a button you understand just come down here and resize it to whatever you like can you see now you can you know just play with it it's yours you understand uh, you can resize it the way you want let's do something let's do something cool i want this button to have a color of um should we give it that blue yeah that blue is okay you understand or probably i can just decide to give up my button this deep color you understand which is the color of the thing i think that would be the best so if that should be the, if that's going to be the case i'm not going to use this rectangle again but there's a place we are going to use it. don't worry there's a place you are going to use it i'm just trying to like at least make something that is um you know cool enough you understand that's just it right so i'll call this guy again i'll call it lemon l e a r n then m o r e that's what i'm going to call it so that's it you know don't forget you can resize your button if it's too big you can resize it and uh, that's it when you click on it now you can decide to make it a small button which is what i'm going to use at least it shouldn't be too big 
let's align it. Is it okay like this? I want you to tell me that. So this is just the first thing here. You know, you can decide to, th this is it, right? So there's one cool thing that we are going to do now. We are going to um, duplicate this thing. So you click on duplicate your stand, you, you duplicate it. Uh, we should still have one more. You click on this icon, that, this duplicate icon that is here. Can you see it now? Then you also duplicate. So I want it to be three, right? So now in this case, now you see that yes, it has even gone out of the box. What we need to do if we want to resize everything evenly is to, you know, you, you select everything at once. If, how do you do that? You click on the first one, then you click on your shift, you hold your shift key, then you click on the second one and click on the second, just like the way you do on your windows that you select multiple stuff. I can now, you know, resize everything at once. You now click on the edge, then you, you know, you scale. Oh, see, look at something now. There's a silly mistake here now. Why selecting? We have to select everything. But the first thing we need to do here is to, let's, let's try to group this thing. It's going to be very easy for us to group. If you want to group this thing together, you click on, um, yeah, you click on this icon that is there, this three icon that is there, the last, second to the last icon that is there, that is beside the X icon, the cancel icon. You click on it, then you click on group, just like you have in your Photoshop. See, I've grouped everything here now, so I can move them at once. Can you see now? We're just clicking on my mouse, left click, and I can move them at once, and you know, if I want to adjust it, I can adjust them at once. That's just it. So that's it, right? So if in case you want to, you know, you know, reduce the space, whatever, everything's going to be adjusted at the same time, which is very cool. But I think we should leave it like that for now. Mm -hmm. Let's leave it like that, okay? Let's just drag this guy and make sure it's at the center. Now, I'm just going to drag this guy down a bit. I've already grouped them, so I can move them at once. You understand? And if I want to resize, it's going to work out soon. Let's quickly really add one. Um, what's it called? Let's add um, something here. Let's add um, adding here, wherever. So I'm just going to come here. I'll click on text, and I want to write something here. I call it our. You get? Um, let, let, let's do one. Put okay. Well. We are working on the simple stuff, right? So it shouldn't be much. So S E R V I C E S, our services, and then I'll make it to be large and bold. You understand? And then what again? At the center. Then what again? I think extra large is okay, and I can you know drag it here a bit and a bit and a bit. Let's see if it's at the center. Yeah. I think it's cool like this. Oh, our, our site is becoming beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is just a sample and a freestyle. So, and um, please, okay, let's do something now. Let's quickly do something. I want you guys to work on your own design. So whatever design you work on, and just let me know. Probably you are going to just send me a message in my comment section or you, you send me a mail. I'm going to drop my mail. So the best design is what we are going to code out. On our coding project that's what we are going to use to start our coding class so just try to work on your own wireframes then send it to my mail or send the picture to my because you can also export this as an image you understand so send it to me let's see so and we are going to work on the best one all right so let's move to the next div this is section of the project let's move to the next and the next div as well is going to have a title or whatever so i'm just going to copy these uh, services I'll bring it down here, blah blah blah. You understand? I'll just that's the concept of design. It has to be neat and you know. I can change this guy to maybe about us. About us. I'm just you know playing, you know. About us. And that's it. So after doing this guy now, you know, what again do we need to know about us? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Because we are doing something cool. Those are what those are those things that you need on the website actually. I'm going to create another frame here. Sorry, I'm going to create create a frame here. You come to this one, add a frame. I'm going to do something very cool. I'm going to I just want everything to be in a frame, you understand? So that um at least we'll be able to edit it properly. And which is very cool. I you might not even add a color to it, it doesn't matter. But just at least so that in case you want to add a color, you want to treat it separately, you can do that. So the next thing we can do here is this. I want to add something like, um, let's add a rectangular shape here. I'm going to add rectangle here. So like in your bootstrap, if you are using bootstrap, you can 
make this thing um, cool MD6, you understand? Like you are dividing into two equal halves. You understand? That's what I want to do now. I, I, hope, I hope they are the same. Yes, 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 yes. And um, I'm just going to duplicate this guy. It's just like you are using WordPress. You know that. I, ah, which is this is just how to uh, create a uh, website. You will have love it, right? So that's it, right? Mm, which is very cool as well. It's very cool. About us, I'm going to have an image here so that at least it's going to be a bit, a little bit. Pushed. I'll click on this guy, upload the image. Do I have a very cool image here? Uh, let's see. Where, 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 where? Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think I, I worked on this image on my Photoshop. You can see this image is smaller. That's why it's not too big compared to the one we use the other time. And that one was too big and. That's why we have to stress our saving, resizing, and resizing. So let's just work on this guy. I'm going to expand it. I'm going to expand it. You know, just resize it the way you want it. Oh, don't don't worry about this guy. Don't worry about it. You can you know you can always do whatever you want. Yeah, I think it's cool like this. Now the next thing I need to do is to. Um, um, the next I need to do is to what is to crop. Where is my image? See, I only click on um, what's it called, the undo button. So this image now I don't like it like this. Let's just try to crop. You know, it's too big and uh, it's bigger than what we want. Let's just crop it so that at least let's check it. I think it's better like this. But you can see now the frame is still showing. Let's keep it under. If you want to keep it under, what are you going to do? You click on this and you you you, you send to back. You understand? Oh, send it to back now. Look at what it did now. Uh, it's it's it under the what's it called? The uh, the rectangle, the frame. So let's delete that frame. Let's delete it. It's not useful again. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see that image now? So let's just keep it like this, which is very cool. All right. If you want to move back, just hold your space bar and then uh, you click outside the project, so you'll be able to move about us. So and that's it. And then we can just have a text here, blah 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 blah. Just I think let me just work on this title again so that we won't be typing typing. You understand? Um, you know you can do anything you like. I don't like writing stories. You can do anything. You can edit this text and you know we can put in more paragraph. I think I can copy this paragraph that I have here. Sorry, I can do it. Hey, shy. Okay, I'll undo it. This is what I want to do. I want to copy this text that is there. You know, I've already grouped these guys together. So if I want to work on each of them, I have to ungroup it or enter the group. You see, when I click on it, I'll enter the group, and I've entered the group now. I can click on this guy now, and I can what duplicate it. You understand? So I'm bringing it down here. Where is it? Yes. It's here now, but it's hiding under this rectangle, which we don't want. So what's going on? Something is wrong. Yeah, yeah. I think this guy. Yeah, I'm going to delete this rectangle. It's of no use. Okay. Yeah, it's cool now. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Anything wrong? Yeah, anything wrong? Let's see. Yeah, this this frame is too big. You understand? The frame that is there is too big. So let's just let's send it back. You understand? Let's send it back. Or probably is it is it useful? Let us delete it. Yeah, take it back. It it contains those guy. So we just have to you know resize it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. Okay, let's just put it here. And don't forget, we are still working on this guy. We are moving this guy here. What am I doing? Are we still in line? Yes, we are moving this guy alone. This guy that is there, we are moving it here. So that's what we are doing. Yeah, I'm moving it out to this place. It's already here now, but it's, it seems it's hiding. Or better still, instead of doing this guy going to the stress, let us just create our own. Let's create a text and put it here. Can you see now? Let's just put a paragraph, blah, 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 blah. I don't really want to do much. I don't really want to do much. Just go back and um, you know you can do anything you want. I don't want to type. I don't want to you know waste my time. I will just go online and you know get a Lorem text, and that could have been the best. If I was working with Visual Studio, 
I can easily get those things. So let's just leave it like this. I just want something cool, you understand? Because you know, the number of your text also matters when you are designing. Let's just put this guy here. Bam. Can you see now? So don't forget this is a wireframe, and um, you know, we can always do something better. You can do something better. You understand? But if you can do this thing very well, just bear it with me. You can get a job as a UI designer because. Even if you can, you, you, the, the, the goal is just to be able to do the project, right? To get it done, to design. But it's not only about using the software alone, but mastering the color theory, the design theory, typo theory, a lot of stuff. So if you are good at graphics, you know, you know how to combine colors, this is very good for you. So the, what they are after is the, is the result. They will not even know whether you use um, this software to do it or use Adobe XD or Figma. You understand the thing is what whatever you can do with XD, you can do it here. That's a cool thing because you can also design for mobile, and we can, that's what we, are, we are also going to be talking about that too. All right, let's use now. This time I want to use the button, I want to use that round button. Now, you don't have a button, you don't have a round button like the one with um, border radius, but there's a way we can create that ourselves just using the rectangle. I use a rectangle shape, this is a rectangle here, like what I wanted to do the other time. Then you resize it the way you want, and then um, you know. Let's keep it here like this. And um, you know, you look at the first icon here, change shape. I can change the shape. But before that, let's quickly change the color. I'll change the color to color. Let's do color yellow. You understand? Then what again are we going to do now? Let's change the shape to kind of um, a round. Can you see you have three shapes? You can make it cycle or you can um, make it have a border radius. Can you see now? I think this is very cool. I think this is very cool. This is a very cool design, and let's see if my design will be the best. So I'm going to anything we do here now. That's what we are going to use to start our web design project. That we are going to code it out, and it's going to be dynamic. We are going to start from front end to back end. Yes. So just call me right. Just call me where right. So, but if you can do something better than if you can design something better than this, then submit it. Let's see. Let's see the winner. So whoever has the best design. We are going to design that out, and the person is going to go. Everybody is going to go with the, the source code. The, I'm, I'm talking about my subscribers. So please, if you are here to subscribe to this channel, it's it's free. Kindly click on the subscribe button. Let's get to that 1K subscribers. Uh, you know, I trust you guys. You are uh, you are really doing well when it comes to that. Please, if you are already subscribed, thumbs up to you guys. And if you are here to subscribe, please do that, so you won't miss my next videos. All right now. So after doing this now. How do I do this now? Let's recap. I click on this add element and I pick a rectangle, you know, and I, you know, resize it just like this. And uh, after doing that, I click on the first icon, which is change shape. But um, I change the shape to something like um, a round something that have the border radius. Then, what well, again, I change the color, and that's what I did. Okay. So I want to remove it now. I can right click and, you know, when you click on it and right click, you can delete it. All right, on this button, I want the text there. Okay, to add the text here, you just click on the normal text and you, you, you come to this place now. Then you write, what should I write? Oh, I think learn more. I'm tired of that word. Learn more. Now, as a designer, you need to know whether your color matches whatever, at least the, the color of the text should be visible enough, you understand? But I think this color is cool. Oh, I think we are done with our about us. Oh, the next thing we need to work on now, let's just keep it as simple as possible. Let's keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, we can also have a form. Yes, let's let's try to um, do that. But before that, let's extend this our frame. Do I have a frame here? Yeah? yeah, this is the main frame. And uh, let's extend it a bit. Let's have one more section. Let's have one more section. Then we can, you know, just... Okay, what should we do now? Okay, yeah, let's let's do something now. Let's click another section now. I'm just trying to crack my brain to you know see if I have nice design. I do graphics as well, don't forget, but I only major in coding and you know that's it. I major in, in full stack. I do both front and back end, and that's why I need this thing because if I want to build a project sometimes, you know, I might spend time cracking brains on what to, how the design will look like, you know, why coding, but instead of doing that, I'll just crack my brain doing it here. Then I'll just go into this uh, coding street and it's going to help me to, you know, get started. So I want to do a section here. And this section, I'm going to give it a color. Let's give it a color. What should we give it? Let's give it this yellow, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what we want to have here now. I'm going to have a, 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 sorry, an input feed. You come to this place. 
you 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 see text imputes just like what you have you can even have a drop down to your your stand so tap text impute like this you can add a place with that there you see enter your mail enter your mail then what again do we need again guess what you can tell me that we need a button right come here come here come here i think we should create our button our save please let's create our button our save from experience let's get our button our save yeah so let's let's do that here because sometimes that button might not work for us so we can decide 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 yeah i think this is cool now um, i can change the shape if i want no let's let's keep it as a square button and let's make it solid and let's keep it get, let's give it a good color which is which is yeah this is cool we are using this guy okay let's shift that button a bit i think it's okay like this right if it's not okay let me know please and and uh, what again what do we need to do? uh okay let's write something on this button right subscribe okay i'm just gonna bring in the text here and um you know subscribe you understand that's it very simple you can if, if you want to have an icon beside the button you can do that as well so now i'm just gonna just write please subscribe to my youtube channel oh yeah just subscribe my that's what is on my mind now but on your website you can see please subscribe to our let's keep it real our news letter you understand just 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 it you can make it better you can make it bold if you like i know if you like something bold yeah let's let's see the color we are using we are using this blue blue yeah and yellow that's what we are sticking with right so that's it right so let's go uh, 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 yeah we can make it bold if you want it to be large uh, bo, 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 bo. let's see yeah it's cool like this right i think the black is okay so let's leave it like that let's just do something simple so that's it right you can have so many things here you can have so many things here and um, let's see what again do we need to do yeah 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 contact us let's quickly build a contact form and that's going to be the second to the last section i'll copy this title here i'll move it down 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 here then contact us you understand i'm just going to write contact us you understand let's just give it like that right i hope what we are doing makes sense it will make a lot of sense to you let me see your comments and um, please try to share this video try to subscribe to my channel it keeps me going i'm, I'm very um i'm very 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 um happy to see these subscribers turning up and it's you know that's what even ginger me to do this video seriously like ah i just look at them i'm almost there you understand but please let me get to that 1000 subscribers please thank you very much all right contact us we are going to be building the contact form and you know on the website sometimes you might have a map all right maybe you want to display a google map here we are all going to be doing this thing in the project this is just a wireframe of the project we are about to build and i hope this website makes a lot of sense a lot uh, enough and it's simple enough right we can even do something better but let's just do this as a wireframe so now you go to that add element and then you click on them i think there's map here you can have a drop down if you want there are a lot of things just play with it do something crazy please see i'm even having lorem here okay let's let's do uh, uh let's do map yeah somebody yeah okay let's let's see this all right um you can this is just a google map just to tell you that yes there's a map here it's it, it's a wireframe you understand just to tell the client that yes there's going to be a map here for the contact for the office address and the next thing is what the the contact form just come here sorry just come to this um add uh, sorry add elements you click on the um you click on the 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 the, 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 the where is it text input yes just do something like this you understand let's do something like this bam what's it your first name is a placeholder 
N A M E. Yeah, that's it. I, I don't need to do much. I just got to copy. I'm, I'm going to duplicate it, right? I think it's cool. I'll, I'll change this placeholder to last name. Okay. I'll call it last name. Yeah, that's cool. What do we need to get again? I think we need to get the um, first name, last name. Then su subject and email, right? Let's do that, please. Let's do something like this. Subject. And let's duplicate it again. You can see it's going to align it for you. you can. Yes, I think it's okay like this. I call this guy subject, right? And I call this guy email. Yeah, after that, we need one important store, which is what? Guess what? Can you tell me? Oh. Hey, it's a pity you can't talk i can't hear your voice right now because it's a video but let me just you know let me see your comment section please comment and subscribe it's keep me going you understand it's make me want to do more you understand there are a lot of stuff you can learn in this platform in this, in this is my channel and that's why it is very very important for you to subscribe just tell me whatever you want me to work on and i'm going to be doing it next all right okay let us do something let us do something yeah i want to add one thing which is what the 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 text area in html we call it text area can you see it here if you want to add anything that you think a website needs come to the add elements that's where you're going to see it please work on your project and let me know do crazy stuff the best one is what we are going to work on on our coding class and i'm going to teach from scratch you don't have to pay to learn coding okay so this is our um, text area now i'm just going to expand it it's just like normal text area you see all right yeah let's 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 drag it up a bit you know what let's drag it up a bit because there's gonna be a send button now let's put a text i'll just show you enter your text your message i'll be whatever yeah you get one more last thing to go yeah let's just use this button there's a way you can even use an online button like that you can add a link you see let's add something here right cool you see now i just write submit what do you think but yeah so we can add this or let me see if this guy is gonna work let's make it solid hmm? which is fine right even I think this is my subscribe, yeah, 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 it's supposed to be, but at least I wanted to match with that my stuff, that's why I did that, but I think it's going to be nice if, let's see, it's going to be nice if we can make this guy, uh, let's see, if we can make it this color, oh no, not the text, the button itself, we can make it this color. You know what is going to happen? I always like to do crazy stuff. Let us delete this button. Let us, yeah, let us delete everything that is here. Let us um, add a button from here so that at this, can you see? Yeah, I think it's nice. Oh, I, have, I thought, yeah, the reason is that I don't like the alignment. That's why. Subscribe. S -S -R -I -B -E. So that at least we can play with the colors and whatever you can adjust it you can make it smaller one you stand but it's not advisable let's make it medium yeah you can you know adjust it a bit it's the same thing safe it's cool all right i think we are good to go the one more last thing to do is the most important aspect of this of a website and it's important as well like a website should have a footer so just go to add frame and um, you know let's see if you can reduce this uh frame it's too big now we don't want to do a very big footer just want something simple yeah 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 let's keep it like this then let's let's have a footer here i'm going to click on the plane just to add a diff then 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 i'm going to you know resize it to suit whatever i'm doing here that's the reason why you need to add a frame each time you want to create a section so that you'll be able to um you know change the color and everything so now this is my footer let's give it a good color 
let's see if we can give it a good color let's keep it as black i think i have this guy do i have it there before yeah yeah it's right because this color the color of these icons here we uh, it's supposed to run with the footer what do we need to have on the footer i don't want to have much because at least most of those things that we actually needed has been done so let's just keep a very simple footer yeah my footer yes you, you know you have the copyrights whatever whatever so i'm just gonna write and if you like you can yeah, okay let's do something let's do something crazy um let's mm, what should we do okay let's add something here let's see let's add this avatar here i'm just gonna keep it here i'm go yeah it's too big yeah i think it's okay let's add let's let's duplicate it okay guess what let's duplicate it again yeah that's our social icon right change the icon if you want to change the icon just click on this box let's let's go with um, instagram do we have instagram yeah i have instagram yeah do we have facebook click on this guy facebook no let's use this single one because we already have a cycle do we have um what again tell me twitter yeah twitter where's twitter yeah that bit yeah if you want to give it a color you can go ahead and you know change the background to facebook is blue i don't know yeah you can change this guy to what again what do you want to give it instagram is something like i don't know i think i'm cool twitter is something like um this blue kind of oh do i have it let's try let's, yo just play with it i'm just choking you understand then what again do we need to do here that copyright stuff let's just put it here right let's see do i have i'll see uh powered by w-e-r-e -E by le cruz soft technologies h-n-o-l-o-g-i-e-s um sorry that's the call that's the call then please if you want to check my website um you know maybe you have a future project um the link is open www.lecrosoft.com l-e-c-r-o-s-o-f-t dot com that's the link of the website you understand you can check my website that's my personal website you can give me your project and i'll be nice enough you know to work on it all right so we can change the color that black is not good you know let's let's change the color to color white so that's gonna come my way right we need to get our copyright stuff let me just go online and see copyright yeah copyright symbol yes oh is this not too big let's see okay this is what we are going to do let's quickly go to word but i always love to do it doesn't it doesn't have to be an icon now let's go to word i have word on my system let's just go to word so we get a copyright icon there so so we don't just stress ourselves but it should be on on on, on google actually but don't mind them so let's see i think my word is open and i'm having a blank document if you want to get your copyright whatever just it's very simple just go to uh, uh where is it yeah i think insert yes insert then then symbol yeah i think i'm right this is it now you can copy it hmm? Control c yeah you go back to your well what, what are we doing a browser okay we are here yeah so you just come to this text again like where do you, where do you want to put it yeah it's supposed to be here right you come down here you control v there it is oh god we are done let's see our project is it nice let me see your comment please share please subscribe my name is ogudi molim Lalekon and um, you know i love you guys and please let us get to that one 1000 subscribers by the time you get there i have a special package for you and please don't forget the assignment i give you guys do many stuff you can do so many stuff with this um stuff by the time you do this one you're already a ui ux designer you're already a ui designer already so and you can do a lot of stuff that's going to wow people you can charge people to do this to do the wire from the project and uh, please the most important thing and that's the favorite i want from you subscribe share this video and um you know god bless you guys enjoy all right oh sorry before i go i'm back um let us quickly do something please 
very, very important. Let's try to, um, you know, save this project. Like, you know, you can actually export it. Let's say you want to give a client now, you understand? Oh, let's say you want to give a client this project. You click on this, um, this icon that is there, that look like a jet, you understand? That is where you can get a shareable link. If you get a shareable link, okay, fine. Yes, it's even good. I'm going to give you a link to this project so that you can see yourself. So you see what I do just now. If I want to get a link to this project so that I can give a client, you click on this jet icon, then you click on what? Shareable, get shareable link, you understand? You click on it, then you copy the link. I'm going to place the link to the um, what is it called? comment section so you can view it as well. Then you can decide if you want the person to see the board position. I don't want that. Then you can also decide if, the, if you want those people that will view this link to be able to edit. I don't want them to be able to edit, you understand? I don't, those, like this one now, do you want to give them access to edit? If you want to give them access to edit, yes, you can, you can let them view or can edit, but I only let them view, you understand? So they can only view, you understand? Do you want it to require a password, blah, 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 I don't want that. You understand? You can add a grace and that's your link. They will be able to view it. And again, if you want to save this project as um, image, just come to this guy and click on export. Then, um, then, then you click background. Yes, you download. Let's download. No, sorry. You click on what export. Then you download straight off. If you want it to include a section or whatever. Okay, let's view our image. The image has been downloaded already. Let's view the image. Wow, this is a very cool stuff. Can you see? Can you see what we have done? Oh, that this is cool. This is cool. Can you see what we have done? Just now, just with this. This is a very wonderful project and um, let's see your comment let's see if you have any comment and let's see let's see how we can get this um done let's just convert it to a real project you understand by coding I, I love coding a lot you understand and um it's very easy don't don't forget if you can use facebook you can code don't let anybody scare you okay i'm very sorry for keeping this video longer and you know we just have to finish this thing and again the one more thing i want to tell you is this um you can uh, actually embed it code code. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can convert this thing into code and you can integrate it to your code. And see you. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.